all right fam so we are back at it again with another crazy video now in today's video we have an atheist okay we have an atheist who didn't care about god but after hearing this message you know what i'm saying y'all won't believe what happened okay that's all i'm gonna say y'all won't believe what happened after hearing the good news of jesus christ so without further ado man hit the like button subscribe to the post notifications and if you are an atheist i just want to let you know i love you you know what i'm saying i truly love you regardless of our beliefs regardless of what you believe and what i believe i love you no matter what and i hope that you stick around throughout this entire video because i have a lot of thoughts to say at the end of the video so without further ado man let's get it let's go so Mario, are you spiritual? Yes. What do you mean by that? The way I grew up, my heart was in my neighborhood, but my love, I've always been loyal to love, I've always known that, but it deceived me. I confused the two. If you confuse the two, it lets you down. And if it, you have to pick yourself up, yourself up. You can't what let anybody is, else pick yourself up. For. Is that why you mean by spiritual? Just self improvement? Or yes. Just talking about God. Self improvement. That's what I believe in. I believe in all religions have a universal meaning. I believe in the power of the universe. I believe that we're all just human and we're all here to spread love, and that's all I got to do. <laughs> so, do you think God created everything? Do you think evolution created everything? can never know, ever. <laughs> oh, you may not be able to ever know, I know. You can know within. You hear that, Mario? I know, <laughs> you don't know. Yeah. <laughs> you can't say we can never know. That's limiting your knowledge. Um, do you ever think about how amazing life is? I mean, look at the blueness of the sky and the sun. Do you ever think about the sun, how incredible it is? How incredible it is? It's 93 million miles away, and it's just warm enough to ripen your tomatoes. Any closer, we're all dead. Further away, we're all dead. You ever think about how amazing that is? I do. So how did they get there? I had to learn it myself. I had to go within. And nobody can teach it for you. You have to go within. And you can unlock the secrets to the universe if your loyalty lies in the love for yourself. That's it. You love yourself? I do. You love God? I love God. But in my mind, God is the entire universe. So well, I love that's, the entire... That's called pantheism. The difference between the painter and the painting. You don't love the painting, you love the painter because he's the genius that created the painting. And so if you love creation, you're setting your affection on the creation rather than the creator and that's called an ordinate affection. It's a wrong order of affections. If your mum gave you a gift and you love the gift more than you love your mother, there's something wrong. You should be saying, hey mum, thanks for this car. I'm grateful to you, not to the car. Grateful to you for the gift. Make sense? I personally know who I am and why I'm here. I found my purpose from within. I know that to be true. I've never lost that in my entire life. I've been the same person. You need love. You can't be a man without love. You have to separate yourself from love in order to find that for yourself. Nobody else can do it for you. That's the point. Do you trust yourself? I do. How many... Let me ask you a question. Spell the word shop. S-H-O-P. What do you do when you come to a green light? G-O. Good work. <laughs> Spell the word silk. S-I-L-K. What do cows drink? M-I-L-K. No, they drink water. <laughs> so never trust yourself, because we are, we are easily deceived. The Bible says, he who trusts his own heart is a fool. A lot of people are dead because they trusted their own heart. They made judgments. I can beat that truck and overtake this car, and they couldn't. Wrong judgment. Let me ask you another question. You said your concept of God is that he is the universe. Yeah. Do you think God is happy with you or angry at you? Depending on what you do, God will love you for it either way. <laughs> That's what I believe in. So how are you doing morally? As are you, long as you stay true to yourself, God will love you. It doesn't matter what you do, as long as you know in your heart you're doing it for the right reason, love. You have nothing to worry about in this world whatsoever. It's called faith. Let's see how you're doing. Do you think you're a good person? Yes. How many lies have you told in your life? I've lost count. Okay, what do you call someone who's told lies? A liar. So you've blown that one. Have you ever stolen something, even if, you're, even if it's small? Yeah. What do you call someone who steals? A liar. A thief. If you deny that you lie, steal, cheat, and deceit, you become those things. And that's 
what you have to understand as a human is that you can't lose yourself in yourself because that's the double-edged sword of love it's out there you just got to find it for yourself in order to truly know what it is and i just want to push that to everybody <laughs> that's okay, Mara, you were saying that you found yourself mm-hmm. what are mankind's origins where do we come from women <laughs> yeah but i mean originally i don't mean from your mother i mean where did what's what's the origin of humanity authenticity and love no, the origin where did we come from what was in the beginning man and woman <laughs> yeah but for man and woman who created man and woman a higher power. Uh, who was that? God. <laughs> okay. Why do we exist as human beings? To love. Okay. And where are, you, where are you going when you die? Whatever you did here, it depends. <laughs> okay, that's true. Now, third commandment, you should not take God's name in vain. Have you ever used God's name in vain? Okay. Would you use your mother's name as a cuss word? Never. Never, because you honor her, but you haven't loved and honored God. You've used his name as a filth word to express disgust, which is called blasphemy. So serious, it's punishable by death in the Old Testament. Appreciate your honesty and your, uh, and your patience with me. Now, Jesus said, if you look at a woman and lust for her, you commit adultery with her in your heart. Have you ever looked at a woman with lust? Yes, I'm a man. <laughs> Have you had sex before marriage? Yes, I'm a man. So, Mario, I'm not judging you. You judge yourself. But you've told me you're a lying, thieving, blasphemous, fornicating, adulterer at heart. And you have to face God on Judgment Day. If he judges you by the Ten Commandments, I've looked at four, you're going to be innocent or guilty? Guilty. Heaven or hell? Hell. <laughs> now, does that concern you? Deep down, yeah. And it horrifies me. We've just met. I love you. I care about you. The thought of you going to hell just breaks my heart. Do you know what death actually is, according to the Bible? Ultimate enlightenment. Well, no, it's wages. It says the wages of sin is death. God's given you death as wages for your sin. He's paying you in death. He's given you capital punishment. Like a judge looks at a heinous criminal who's raped three girls and then murdered them. He says, you've earned the death sentence. This is your wages. This is what's due to you. And sin is so serious to God, Mario, that he's given you capital punishment. Lying, thieving, blasphemous, fornicating, adulterer at heart. Now tell me, what did God do for guilty sinners so we wouldn't have to go to hell? Do you remember? <clears throat> he came up with the idea that depending on what you do here, you're either good or bad, and that's it. You just got to stick to that and have the faith in that. And then no, you- that's not what he did. Jesus suffered and died on the cross for the sin of the world. The Ten Commandments are called the moral law. You and I broke the law. Jesus paid the fine. That's what happened on that cross. Mario, if you're in court and someone pays your fine, a judge can let you go. Did you know that? You can say, Mario, there's a stack of speeding fines here. This is deadly serious. But someone's paid him. You're free to go. And he can do that which is legal and right and just. And God loves you so much, he became a human being, suffered and died on the cross to take the punishment for the sin of the world. That means you don't have to end up in hell. God can legally... Forgive your sins, because he's the lover of your soul. And then Jesus rose from the dead and defeated death. Mario, if you give up the battle and just say, God, I'm a rebel, and you repent and trust in Christ, God will forgive every sin you've ever committed and grant you everlasting life as a free gift. Do you believe what I'm saying? Yes. It's the gospel truth. I wouldn't lie to you. Are you ready to repent and trust in Christ? Yes. Can I pray with you? (laughs) Sure. Father, I pray for Mario. Thank you we met today. Thank you we met today. I pray today he'll truly repent and trust in Jesus and have his sins forgiven in a second and pass from death to life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You have a- Man. Amen, bro. Okay. Y'all. That video was number one powerful. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people... I, I want to react to this video because... It's, it's a lot of people that's in my comment section who don't believe in God. You know what I'm saying? But yet, they continue to watch the videos. They continue to answer the polls. They I don't know why they're here, but one thing I do want from, you know, from the time that they're here is the seeds that I plant. I will like those seeds to eventually get watered and then eventually grow by God. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't, I want all people no matter what faith you believe, no matter what, I want all people to come to this channel, not to get me views, not to get me money. I'm not worried about that. I just want to spread the good news of Jesus Christ. 
and Mario, fam, we love you. You know what I'm saying? I know there's a lot of Christians who don't live up to what what is what it truly means to be a believer in Christ. I know there's a lot of people that don't live up to that. You know what I'm saying? But again, when you have the discernment to discern the false teachers, or, or actually when you have the discernment to to um to you know to dictate between you know the the wolves and the sheep and know who is false and knowing who is real you feel me you won't come across or you may come across them but you would not you know what i'm saying you would not gravitate towards the wolves you will gravitate towards the sheep because the sheep are the people that are pure the sheep are the people and i'm not saying pure isn't perfect but the sheep are the people that are truly following christ and living out his word and Mario uh, said one thing. He said religion. He said he believed that all religions. And I done said this multiple times over and over and over again. Bro, it is never about religion. Okay, seriously. I know that society has put that big word, that big title onto anybody that believes in a God, but it is not about religion. You know what I'm saying? There is one God. There is one way. Okay. And that one way is following Jesus Christ. That one God is Yahweh. That is the, that is the truth. Okay. That is the ultimate truth. And there's so much evidence behind, uh, it's so much evidence behind believing in Christ. You know what I'm saying? There's so much evidence behind it. But it's never about religion when you come onto this side. This this side right here, I don't want to say side because it's like, <laughs> but according to the way that society is, it's like I have to say it this way. But coming over to believing in Christ is not about the religion. It's about a relationship. When you learn how to have a relationship with God, when you learn how to have a relationship with your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, life is, it, look, it ain't going to be perfect. You go go through situations still. You go still. Life go still be lifing. Okay. You ain't ain't nothing go. Nothing's not going to stop. Okay. Like you you're not just going to automatically become rich or you know what I'm saying you ain't gonna never got to pay a bill again. Like that's not what happens when you come to this side. But when you do come to believing in Christ, what happens is that you have a level of peace. You have a level of joy. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm going through situations right now in my life, but I'm at peace. I'm not stressed. Okay. And that's the biggest thing that I noticed when I came to Christ and started to trust in Christ more in my life is that I started to have peace. You know what I'm saying? But when I was trusting in my own self and like he's like, like Mario said, he said, believing in your own self, that's when you start to, you know what I'm saying? You start to stress about things that doesn't go your way. You know what I'm saying? You start to rely on yourself so much and we can never rely on ourselves, bro. We can never, we can never depend on ourselves for real. You know what I'm saying? The Bible tells us that my people will lack for the lack, uh, no, my people will perish for the lack of knowledge. The Bible tells us that, and a lot of people don't have the knowledge of Jesus Christ. They don't have the knowledge of what he done on that cross. They don't have that knowledge and they need that knowledge because this is the truth. This is the way, you know what I'm saying? Another thing that Mario, um, I don't know if Mario said this or if the guy that's, um, uh, doing the video said this, but don't worship create. Oh no, the the guy that's doing the video said this. Don't worship creation. <clears throat> a lot of atheists, they, a lot of atheists or a lot of spiritual people, they worship creation. You never want to worship creation rather than worshiping your creator. That's why it's like okay, you 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 a Christian, and then you got a lot of Christians like myself who say that oh, crystals. They're demonic. They're this, they're that. Yes, it is. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people are putting their faith into an object rather than putting their faith into the person who created that object. But the person who created that object did not create it for that particular reason. When I say person, I'm not talking about an actual man who created it. I'm talking about God who created all things. That's what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? And people may ask me like, bro, why do you believe in God? Why do you believe in Jesus? I had somebody comment on my video. He said, bro, you fall, you fell so far away. I had to let you go. I fell far away because I stopped believing in truth. I fell far away because I stopped doing the politics. I fell far away because I truly want to plant seeds and, and spread love and honestly plant, uh, well, honestly plant seeds to people that don't know the truth. I fell far away because of that. <clears throat> I didn't fall far away. If anything, I, I became closer to God than I ever been before. You know what I'm saying? But people ask me like, bro, why you believe in, why you believe in the Bible? Why you do this? Why do that? If people, you know, ask me these type of questions and I can tell them simply, number one, the Bible is in a consistent thing. It's a consistency. You know what I'm saying? When you read the word of God, it's consistent. You don't have, and then remind you, people always say, oh, the Bible was written over all these thousands of years and it was changed this amount of times. And the Bible was changed so many times and it was written so many, it was written over and over again. Let's say that is true. If the Bible was written this many times, how can you explain to me how there's a consistency throughout the bible you have 40 you have 40 um 40 men 39 jews and one non-jew 
all lived on three different continents, three different languages, but yet the Bible come into a consistent pattern of, it's not like, oh, first Corinthians saying this, but then you got Matthew that's saying this, or you got, um, you got Paul who, who, who writ who written this and who's saying this, but then you got Zachariah who's saying this, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's a consistent thing. It's not no, oh, this person said this though. That person said this. And then a lot of times people don't read the Bible in context. So of course people are not going to understand the word of God because they don't read it in context. When I sit there and I read the word of God, I have to look at it from a, a eye lens of like, okay, let me look at it from this sense. Okay. And if I don't understand it in this sense, let me go to a different version of the Bible and maybe I'll understand it in this sense. It's all a consistent base. Okay. And that's, that's just truly why I believe in the Bible. It's multiple reasons why, but I don't want this video to be so long about why Jalen uh, believes in the Bible. I just want this video to simply be for people that are atheists, for people that don't know God, Come to God, come to Jesus Christ, believe in Christ with all your heart, repent. The reason why this man was crying, it wasn't because, oh, he was feeling guilty about his things. Trust and believe me, this man just truly felt the Holy Spirit. You know what I'm saying? Because when a person is crying by hearing the good news of Jesus Christ, they a lot of people that don't have an open heart to it and they have a hardened heart, they won't feel nothing. They, you know what I'm saying? They, they, they kind of like, man, I don't want to hear that. You know what I'm saying? But a person who comes with an open heart, who's willing to, to hear things and hear other people's opinions on things and honestly seek truth, that that's when that person starts to get a little bit emotional. Cause it's like, dang, this like, wow. Like <laughs> this man just, just, just basically told my entire story without telling my entire story. And that's why Mario started to cry because he started to feel that conviction. He started to feel that conviction of the things that he have done. You know what I'm saying? He started to feel that conviction because he realized that he's not as, as, as he thought he was before, you know, he came to this person and talked about God. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? He was really big on the self-improvement, but now he's going to be really big, not just in the self-improvement, but telling people to improve their lives by knowing who God is and knowing who Jesus Christ is. He can use his talent for God's glory. That's why we're here. We're here to use the gifts that God has given us for his glory, to plant seeds, to win souls, and to live a life that is dedicated to him so he can receive all the glory. That is why we're here. We don't need to receive all the glory because what he has done for us, he deserves all the glory. You feel me? He deserves all the glory, man. So if you are an atheist and you're watching this video, I will continue to pray for God's lost sheep because that's what you are. You are God's lost sheep, meaning that that doesn't mean you're stupid. That doesn't mean you're dumb. No, it just simply means that you don't know who Jesus Christ is. And, and the Bible tells us that he leaves the 99 to find the one. So therefore, you're that one lost sheep that needs to be found. So he's going to leave all people that truly believe in him and that's living by his word to go find that lost one. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, man, I love y'all. I hope this video blessed y'all. I hope that a lot of people, you know, listen to the end of this video. And I just hope that I planted some type of seed in your heart to truly just come to Jesus Christ. That's all I want to do. I don't care about views. I don't care about money. I don't care about fame. I just want to make sure that. When I get to heaven, I want to make sure I'm seeing people that used to watch me on earth in heaven also. I want to make sure that I did my duty so I can get a well done, my good and faithful servant from the Lord, from the Lord above. That's what that's what my duty is. Okay, so I love y'all, man. Hope you guys enjoyed, uh, enjoyed this video. Hit the like button, subscribe to no post notifications. It's been your boy, Japan. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace. <laughs>